get to it. All right, everyone. Next step in the project. We're going to drill some holes in the two legs for where the dowels are going to go. All right, so this is Nate's project. Uh, we've got it mocked up. We've got a dry fit once again now that he's finished cutting all of his joints. And first thing we're going to do actually is we're going to take our pencil and label uh, on, the, on the legs. We're going to label inside face. Okay, so that lets us know that this is the face that we'll be getting uh, those holes. Okay, so inside face. And I'm also going to label uh, bottom and top. Okay, so that way there's no confusion as to the orientation of these legs when I actually go to the drill press, or even for now when I'm actually uh, laying, doing my joint layout, or the whole layout. Okay, so we're going to measure from the bottom, right, and these pieces are right tight on the table. We're going to measure from the bottom 9 inches and 25 inches. Alright, so here we go. Nice sharp pencil and just put a little tiny tick. So nine inches and 25 inches. Okay, just like that. Nine, 25 from the bottom. Now we're going to actually take this thing apart. Okay, and I'm going to lay out. I'm going to put this thing right side by side and line up the, the bottoms so that I'm looking at both of the inside faces and I'm just going to take my square on that 9 inch mark, here we go, and on the 25 inch mark as well. Make sure those bottoms are perfectly lined up. So what we're doing here is we're, we're just ensuring that uh, even if we were off slightly on our 9 inch and our 25 inch measurements, at least they're going to be exactly the same from one leg to the other, which ultimately is, is the really important part. Okay, so now we have our lines. Um, the next step is we need to actually put a little tip in the dead center of this right where our hole is going to go. So for that I'm going to show you guys a quick little trick. We're going to use a marking gauge. I have them on the tool board behind me. And you're actually just going to eyeball, like just kind of guesstimate about where halfway on this board is. And then just snug it in place. And then we're just going to lay out, we're just going to put a little mark in here. There's a little knife on the end of these marking gauges and we're just going to put a little mark right in that line. We're going to measure it from both sides. Okay, so now I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but there's two tiny little uh, slices right where, um, or measured from either side of the face, and then we can just take our pencil and put a tiny little mark right in the dead center right between those two. Okay, so believe it or not, uh, oftentimes in here it's more accurate to not measure or use a ruler but instead just do you know tricks like this where we can measure from both sides for example finding a center. Now we have a little mark that we can use to locate our drill bit and of course before we do that we're going to get a center punch and we're just going to put a nice little indent in there back at the drill press before we actually drill it. Okay so Nate's going to continue to do that on all four of those and find his center marks and then we're ready to go drill. Okay, so here we are at the drill press. Uh, we've got our little pencil mark here right where we want to drill and we've also got our center punch as well. So just before we make our uh, set up our drill, we're actually just going to put a little, little indent right there just so that the drill bit physically has a, a place to be located in. Okay, so we just did that with a center punch. Now we actually have to set, whoops, we have to set the depth of this thing. Okay, so we're going to put a mark on our 
board. So measured from the top, we're going to put a mark at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so just, it can actually be anywhere on here. Just a little mark. I've got my combination square set to 5 eighths, but you can use a ruler, you can use a tape measure, whatever you like. And I've just got a little mark here right at 5 eighths of an inch. All right. So we're going to put this board now behind where the drill bit comes down. By the way, we're drilling a one inch hole and I've already got a one inch Forstner bit set up in the drill press. We're going to bring this down right until the edge of that drill bit right there is at that mark. And then we're going to, we're going to uh, crank down the nut on our depth stop right there so that the drill press will physically stop right at that desired mark that I have at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so we've got our center marked, we've got our depth set, we have our one inch drill bit in the chuck, and now we're actually going to set up our mag fence so that all of the holes can be drilled in exactly the same spot. All right, so bring the drill bit down, put it right into your mark right there. Put your mag fence right up against your board and just turn the two knobs and crank them down. And this thing is going to stay in place like crazy well, actually. It, it, works, it works amazingly well. So now we can fairly uh, simply turn this thing on drill our hole, bring it up, scoot that board along, drill our next hole, take our next board, and do the whole same thing. All the meanwhile, this fence here, this magnetic fence is holding the board in exactly the same center spot every single time. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we hit, hit it, hit our depth stop. And that's it. Okay, perfect hole, five eighths of an inch deep, right in the center. And now we can move our leg along and drill the next hole right there. All right, so that's it. That's the holes.